You're right guys, Gary aka Hopeless back again. In this video we're taking a look at how I painted this Sparrow Warrior from the game Burrows and Badges from Oathsworn Miniatures. I really enjoyed painting this one and I decided that I was going to try and do something that I hadn't done with any of my miniatures before and that was to uh, experiment with Xenophil highlighting. So as normal I used standard Mechanicus Grey as the base coat and then sprayed directly overhead using uh, Reef Bone from the contrast range which is why it looks like a little odd in this picture. And the first colour I used was Nasdreg Yellow Contrast Paint. I'm getting more comfortable with the contrast stuff now so I'm starting to understand a bit better how it all works. Then I painted in the eyes with Steel Legion Drab because uh, looking at pictures from what I could tell Sparrows have uh, a light brown eye in the background always nice and then using wild wood for the shield because obviously it's wood I figured I'd try to keep it realistic you know moving on to gore grunter fur contrast next for the, uh, the all of the leather all the bags all the straps didn't quite realize it how many straps there actually were on this figure which to be fair is still not a lot I just didn't really think this through And maybe one day I will get the hang of focusing my damn camera. Once the bags were done I was going on to the feathers and for this I chose to use Skeleton Horde. Going all over, I quite like how the contrast paint picks out the details uh, in these figures. They look awesome when they're dried. Uh, once that coat of uh, Skeleton Horde dried, I actually went over it again to just try and darken it up a bit. So there was a little bit too much Mechanicus Grey poking through underneath. And then we started working on the breastplate, which was Lead Belcher. Nothing too over the top, just a nice standard metal chest piece. And of course the trim and the centerpiece on the shield itself. Uh, it wasn't as neat as I could have been, so there is some bits that I want to go back over and sort out. So that is the chest piece at the shield, and then finally doing the uh, handle for the sword and the um, sword sheath. Word escaped me for a second then. Once all that was done, I started to work on the hood, and my girlfriend said that uh, she thought he would look good with one of the uh, sort of a mossy green hood, almost like Robin Hood. So I figured orc flesh was the best mix for that, or the closest colour match anyway. I think it came out pretty well. At this point I think I'm almost done with the model itself, but I decided to go over the feathers again with Skeleton Horde because I want to try and darken up the browns a little bit. And then getting towards the end I use Corn Red to do the handle for the sword on his back. And then I started working on the base. Uh, before I painted the model I put some Milliputs on the, uh, the base itself to try and bulk it out and once it's obviously gone to this point it's pretty dry so we're going over it with Gore Grunter fur again and I, I'll be honest I quite like the, the the shade of brown I'm just ignoring the fact I'm doing the eyes because I still get petrified doing these but I think the eyes came out pretty well on this and then glued a couple of rocks to the base and then went over and sprinkled some static grass on uh, as with the last time I'm using serious play static grass and then um, yeah, came out quite nicely. Here's the model. One Sparrow Warrior from Oathsworn Miniatures. Really enjoyed painting this, really enjoyed how this one came out. Uh, next up, I either have what looks like a Witch Hunter Hound or a Cat Bounty Hunter with a rather large rifle. So that'll be an interesting one. 
Uh, I hope you've enjoyed the video. I do enjoy making these. So hopefully there's uh, someone here at this point. Uh, thanks again for watching. As always, my name is Gary, aka Hopeless. If you enjoyed the video, do please leave a like. Let me know what you think uh, down below in the comments. And uh, hopefully I'll see you in the next one. So until then, I'll see you later. See ya.